Are you looking to extend the functionality of Google Assistant and add unique user journeys to help users get things done? If your answer is yes, then consider building a conversational action. Conversational actions briefly take over the assistant user experience to fulfill user requests with a conversation. Users can interact with the conversation using touch, text, and voice, while your actions respond back with audio and visual prompts. These actions are available for Google Assistant on phones, at home, or on the road. Let's dive into how actions are involved, how a conversation works, and how you can connect web services and apps for additional functionality. Users can invoke conversational actions by simply saying, hey Google, talk to, and then your actions display name, which is your brand, product name, or persona that uniquely identifies your actions. We'll begin with the main invocation which is the default way users tell the assistant they want to have a conversation with an action. Here's the flow when action is invoked using the main invocation and the system processes the user's request through natural language understanding. Then the action needs to generate a prompt and send that to the assistant. Typically, this is a greeting or informational prompt that guides the user on how to converse with the action. Every actions project has a main invocation, but you can also define additional deep link invocations. These invocations let users begin conversations in a different ways and go straight to different functionalities of an action. Once the action is invoked, the conversation begins between the user and your action. To build this back and forth between the user and your action, you need to do three things. One, Process and understand user input with natural language understanding. Two, apply logic to organize the conversation flow. And three, generate the appropriate response back to the user. To build this functionality, you use conversation components such as intents, slots, scenes, and prompts. You can learn more about these components in our other videos. Now, there are times when your action may want to make an API call, query a database, or dynamically generate prompts. To do that, your action can trigger a webhook that sends a request to a registered event handler with a JSON payload. Let's go back to the diagram and update it with a fulfillment service to handle those types of requests. The assistant processes user input and carries out intent matching and slot filling. Your action triggers a webhook and makes a request to your fulfillment service. Your fulfillment now processes the request, which contains a JSON payload from your action and returns a corresponding JSON payload response. This is the first step to build unique and customizable user journeys with conversational actions. Check out our docs for more requirements and details in the description below. I'm Mandy Chen, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing what you build.